we have done the registration with NMC now. So the next thing we have to wait a confirmation mail from the NMC overseas and from the Pearson view. As I said, Pearson view is the agency who is conducting the CBT exam. Here I will show the first mail from the NMC after my registration. I'm opening it. So here it's mentioned. Dear Tindopol, congratulations on passing the eligibility stage of registration with the NMC. In order to proceed with your application, you are required to take the part one test of competency. We shall soon send you details to Pearson View. Please contact Pearson View after 24 hours to schedule your test. For further information, visit www.nmc.org.uk. So this is the mail I received from NMC. Okay. Now the thing is, this told me that I have to take the part one test of competency that is called CBT, computer based test. I have to wait for the mail from Pearson View. It will take like 30 minutes to 24 hours after registration. But anyway, I received my mail from the Pearson View already. So I will just open my mail. Here you can see uh, this is my Pearson View mail notice of automatic web account creation. So they have sent me a temporary password through one mail and uh, I have one more mail from them authorization to test so they have sent me uh, one more mail so in that they have mentioned my candidate ID this one I can a candidate ID which is given by the NMC they will mention it there then the exam is RN1 day standards adult name of attempts authorized two attempts we have only two attempts to take cbt exam within the six months it's like we can take one cbt exam if we lose in that exam after 10 days only we can appear for the next exam but if you lose in the second attempt also you have to wait for six months actually uh, so that is from 12 september to 12 march 2020 so these are the time period in the in between this period we have to take two attempts uh, then after uh, after the second attempt even if we lose again we can we have to wait for the six months that is after 12th march only of 2020 actually no need to take a second attempt cbt exam is really easy so we can pass it easily don't worry so they have sent me one username also this is the username uh, so we have to log in with Pearson view and enter these details the username and password uh, the password we can change but the username will be the same for ever whenever we use Pearson view uh, for one account the pass user ID will be always the same okay so let us go back now we will go to the Pearson view page so now I opened a Google Chrome uh, page again then I will type here Pearson view login yeah came here so I will click as Pearson view login then we have to go to for test takers it will redirect us to this page so this is the page what we see when we open the Pearson view uh, so what we have to do just see this column here we have to enter nmc uh, enter it in the capital letter nmc so it will automatically come here nursing and free council nmc so just click on it then wait it will take to a page like this so we have to sign in so we have to remember our id and password which was sent through the mail okay so i'm going to sign in now so just click on this sign in button so it will direct me to this page this is the sign in page for pearson view which is connected to nursing and midwifery council uk so i'm going to give my login id here Zero six eight. 
it should be the same username what they have sent you through the mail and I will enter my password The next thing I have to sign in. So once I have signed in, the first option is to change the password. And we have some uh, must conditions like eight or more characters, a combination of uppercase and lowercase letters, then numbers uh, or symbols should be included. So I will create a new password then click change person i think so i will enter a new password yeah it's strong now so i will change my password now my password has been saved uh, so now i have to choose one security question uh, i will choose it as um, what was your dream job as a child that will be my question first question and i will choose it as nursing i will use caps lock for everything like in capital letter then i have to choose one more question what is your favorite food i will choose here biryani that is my favorite food so these are the two security questions because if any time we forget the password they will ask these two security questions so just take an image of this uh, two question and answers or just remember somewhere okay so i'm going to save and continue here it's showing account sign in successfully updated now they are showing sign in signed in as tinder poll nmc candidate id everything so this is my profile my profile is open now so i have one pre-approved exam here rn1 registered nurse adult this is the exam which we are going to appear for that is cpt so what i will do i will click on this button It will directly take me to the payment page so it's showing the exam and the testing policies view my authorization information and this is the name of the exam rn1 based trainers adult there are some testing policies if you want you can read or else it's okay and the price is great britain pound 90 and language is English okay so if you are okay with this go to the schedule this exam so we have given our address already it will automatically find the CBT exam centers near to our places it's like to my place there are some uh, two exam centers in Cochin and one is in Coimbatore so you can uh, choose from your place you can give the like you can change here like any places name you can enter if you want like in Punjab just click on click as Punjab then go to search option it will show the places in Punjab now see Amritasar, Jalandhar, anywhere. So I will choose if I want to write in Amritasar. I will click on this button. There will be a tick mark. Then I will just go down. And go press the next button. When we press the button, it will direct us to the nearest exam dates available in that location on with those days so here it's showing as september 20 that is the 
uh, next exam date available in the uh, Amrita Sir Punjab. So, this is just an example. Okay, you can uh, press like Kochi or Punjab, Tamil Nadu, even if it is uh, outside India like Nepal or uh, Nigeria, whatever you can enter it there. Okay, I prefer to write my exam today is September 12th, so I prefer to write it on 20. Or I want to write on next month, so I will just change my month here. So it will open the page for October. So it's only 12th today, so I will. I want to practice for one more month. I will choose the date on 18th. Always remember, try to book your CBT date even before you start studying okay because it's some places it's really difficult to get a date especially in the Kochi so always book your date first then start practicing if you are not working just book uh, like uh, for two weeks from now because it's not much to study in CBT you can sit and study at home there is no not much to study uh, and if you are working just take one month time to study because when you get free time you can study so i'm choosing 18th so i click on 18th it will show the time available different locations they will have different timing for that sun so on 18th in amritsar they have only at 8 am okay it's okay for me i will choose 8 am i will click on 8 am then yeah so here i have the details my order description rn1 day standards language english exam 1 to 14 minutes details appointment friday 18th october start time 8 am in this change if you want to change the appointment click on here you can change the date and location then this is my location they have given the details if you want to change test center you can change from here and this is the price there is no tax for this because it's paid in pounds you can go with the proceed to checkout see they took me to the step one page of confirmation personal information your name must exactly match the identification this is presented at the time of testing or you will not be able to sit your exam so your identification is your passport all your details whatever you have given it should be matching with the passport especially your full name your date of birth and uh, your address can be address is not important but full name and date of birth is really important my these details are correct so i will go with next then these are some agreement and policies they are mentioned so i just read that we have some cancellation we can do cancellation if it is before 24 hours they will make the whole payment for us okay so i will go with the uh, i'm ready to accept these terms and conditions so i just click on here then i will go to the next button then the three, third page is enter payment so this is my payment page so these are the type of cards they are accepting like amex mastercard visa and visa debit it's like they accept only few debit cards some like international debit cards or only few bank debit card they are accepting otherwise you can use a credit card to make the payment you have to give all your uh, card details here the card type like i will choose mine is i have mastercard with me i'll choose then card number the 16 digit number on the front side of the card then your expiry date and the card holder's name not your name whose card are you using that person's name has to be mentioned here then the security code that means the cvv number on the back side of the card that is the three digit number okay then you have to give the billing information here like uh, all these columns uh, mark with star mark you have to fill it for sure and it should be correct as in the bank records 
all these details it will come automatically whatever the details the bank have they will upload it automatically if any changes you can do that then press the next button i'm not pressing it because uh, it will make the payment it will go to the con uh, again confirmation then sometimes they will ask for some uh, otp number enter it save it then your payment is done you will receive one more confirmation mail from the pearson view start studying for cbt and take your exam all the best and one day or two day in advance they will send one more reminder mail take the print out of that mail also okay then go with your passport and confirmation mail to the exam center 30 minutes in advance once you went there you will meet someone in the reception just show your identification details to them then they will take you to the exam hall you cannot take anything inside the exam hall including your watch also only thing you can take a water bottle sometimes they don't allow it also but you can keep it outside anytime in between the exam you can go and have your water or any snacks or something because this exam is for four hours and after completing your exam because we don't need to sit for four hours for the cbt exam we can finish it within like one and a half hour or two hours maximum so once you finish the exam check all your questions again make it confirm then uh, come out of the exam hall you don't have to sit for four hours you can come out anytime once you finished your exam okay so that's all i hope it was useful mm, anyway all the best Thank you.